In this video, we have to derive the moment generating function for the geometric distribution. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. The moment generating function, the moment generating function is given as mxt to be equal to summation of as x ranging from 1 to infinity etx multiplied by f of x. This is the PDF of the geometric distribution. The next thing to do is to substitute the PDF into the moment generating function. So substituting the PDF of geometric distribution into the moment generating function will give us summation of x as it ranges from 1 to infinity, etx multiplied by the PDF, p q x minus 1. So the next thing to do is to rearrange this, is to rearrange the moment generating function. Rearranging it, we can write it as the moment generating function will be equal to, we bring down this, P, summation of x as it's ranging from 1 to infinity, etx multiplied by q, x minus 1. The next thing to do is for we to move over to the other side. Moving over to the other side, we can write this as a moment generating function can be written as this p to bring it out and write it as t plus q e two t plus q squared e three t and it continues that way. Of course, we can deduce something out of it. We know from Taylor series from Taylor series mathematics, we have that one plus a plus a squared plus a q plus it continues like that is equal to one all over one minus a. From Taylor series. Of course, we can bring this here. It then means that our moment generating function is equal to. Now, what we we'll do, we we'll have to write the expression to be looking like this for we to get our moment generating function. All we need to do is just to bring this. We we'll write down p, we we'll bring down et, et. If we write et, we we'll put it in brackets, we'll write one plus nothing change q since et is out this becomes e t plus q squared e instead of 3t it becomes 2t to be equal to plus it continues that way to give us p e t all over 1 minus q e t hence hence our moment generating function for the geometric distribution can be written as p e t all over 1 minus q e t so this is how we can obtain the moment generating function for the geometric distribution. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. Getting the moment generating function for the geometric distribution, we have to follow these processes. Once we follow this process, it will be very easy for you to compute the moment generating function for the geometric distribution. So this becomes the moment generating function 
for the geometric distribution. <laughs>